Welcome to my Jackson Hall studio. I'm pleased to report that I have two sets of bunk beds in here, which is amazing in case I ever have a whole boatload of collectors coming in to sleep over for the night. Uh, here today to talk about my brand new Indiana Jones painting. We didn't grow up with Indiana Jones. I mean, Harrison Ford is just a total kick-ass dude when it comes to being an absolute hero. I think of, you know, using a cattle whip to you know, beat up dudes and, and swing across trees. And actually, it's funny, I was out in the mountains here and I ran into a guy who had a cattle whip and he let me use it and I asked him if everything in Indiana Jones was legit. And he said the only thing that was a little bit suspect was the fact that he was able to swing it, uh, catch it on like a log and swing across like in the first one. The collage aspect of this painting, um, I tried to explore a lot of his travels. We have China, we have the USSR. Um, he's always saying, uh, kid, so we have, you know, good luck, kid, which I thought was perfect. Um, Jackson Hall. So the reason that I painted Indiana Jones when I came here was um, Harrison Ford is a major, major fixture in Jackson Hall. And he was one of the first people to buy up large swatches of land. He's a really well-liked person in the area. I figured, hey, I want to paint. I wanted to paint Harrison Ford forever. And what better time than to do it in his own backyard? So that's why Jackson Hole is in there. We have Fiery Doom. Now, I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Harrison Ford actually was in a plane crash recently. And he survived, fortunately, but he was very controlled crash and it went down on a golf course. And over the years, you know, he's a, he's a real life adventure. He's not just this guy who, you know, plays a superhero. He rescued someone in a helicopter at like 12,000 feet in Jackson Hole here. Um, so he's legit. He's a legit guy. So I wanted to capture that. So there's actually a lot of biplanes here. A couple of uh, a couple of Cessnas, or I'm not sure exactly the model. Don't don't hold me to it, especially if you see this, Mr. Ford. We have the doors. He was actually a roadie for the doors. So Jim Morrison is in his hat, um, which was uh, which was crazy. James Garner. Now people were saying, why did you put James Garner in there? Well, James Garner, he was the guy who kind of set the archetype for this sort of just whimsical hero. There's a little bit of uh, some historical photography from, from Nazi Germany, which I have to be honest, I thought about not putting in the painting, but it's such a, it, it plays such a prominent role in, in so many of the movies that I felt that it would, be, it would be soft of me to ignore that lineage within the Indiana Jones storyline. And so the background, it was kind of like this uh, like rocky background in this image that I took. And the image that I took was in the third movie. And it's, it's a very fleeting second. Like if you watch the film, it would be really hard for you to discover the exact moment. But what it is, is it's over one of the villain's shoulders as he's about to go in to go after the Holy Grail. Um, and it's just before the guy shoots his dad it's one of these moments where he transitioned so quickly from from this sort of like I could do anything to oh you just shot my dad and now I don't know what to do so I thought it was a really great moment I just I loved his pose and you know Indiana Jones without a smirk I mean come on you know it's Indiana Jones hats off to you sir uh, an inspiration to us all and uh, I hope you enjoy it thanks for coming to check it out and more to come boardbay.com Da-da-da-da, 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 da-da-da-da.